Hello everyone, we completed the define features functions. As you see, we have some binary and quantitative features. Now we will continue with the feature extraction part. So create a file as feature extraction.py. We need some libraries, some modules. Then first one is beautiful soap and OS. And then we will use features functions. Therefore, you should import features. And finally, for data frame creating phase, we will need pandas. So import pandas also and that's all like the previous exercise let's write our steps one by one what will we need the question is that and the first one we should define a function which opens an html file and returns the content so define And the second one, we should define another function which creates a beautiful soap object. So define a function and the next step is defining another function which creates a vector by running all feature functions for the soap object. and all of these steps for just one HTML file. Of course, we should run all of these steps for all HTML files. So step four is run step one, two, and three for all HTML files and create. We will need this two dimensional array for data frame creating part. And the last step, Create a by using. Okay, that's all. Let's start from the beginning. First of all, we need the file name. Open file as a parameter. We will take file name and open file name in read mode as f return f eight. Yes, that's all. And the second step define a function that creates uh, a beautiful soap object. So if I say create soap as a parameter, we need a text. Return beautiful so text and other parameter is HTML parsers. And step two is ready. And step three, they create a vector. And as a parameter, we should get a soap object here. We will use this soap object for our feature functions. Remember that all of the feature functions have same parameter soap. So let's continue. Here we create a vector in a list form. I remember our features here in the features file. As title has input, these are the binary features and the quantitative features like number of inputs, number of buttons. We will use all of them in this function to create a vector. As you see, we will call our features by using this fe and in a list form, we will call all features and the remain is the same. So I will just copy paste. Okay, set three is also ready. It will give us a 
vector in a list form. And now let's continue with step four. In step four, firstly, we need to know the directory of the folder which has the HTML files. I know the name, so let's say folder. As you see, mini data set. And let's define our function. Define create to the lists and as a parameter we need to give folder name. First of all, we need to define a directory using OS pet. Here we will give OS that current directory and the folder name. Then I will define a list to use in for loop and for file in this list command. It's very helpful directory. But I will also add sorted here because this tier returns files random and I want sorted one so I added that. And now we will create a sub with our create sub function and as a parameter we need to give a text and I will give it the text with our another function open file and as a file name I will give directory uh, file now we will create a vector using the sub and add each vector to our list so data append vector so, and return data that's yeah, so all now we have a function which creates a two-dimensional list and as a step 5, we will create a data frame by using this two-dimensional list array. First of all, we need to create a data list using our create two-dimensional list function. So data create two list. And as a folder name, I will give folder. To create a data frame, we have a data as a list. And we also have a column name. And I will just copy paste here our column names. We have a data list and column list. And as you see, each feature has a unique column name. And now we will define our data frame using pandas data frame. As a data, I will give data. And for columns, again, I will give columns. And let's see the first five row of the data frame and run it. Okay, as you see here, we have his title, his input, and the 22 columns, and each one has unique numerical values. Each example has numerical values. Okay, for now, that's all. We completed all steps and we converted our unstructured data to structured data. As a summary, we completed our first four major steps and now we will start to create our own data set using this knowledge experience and also I will show some additional techniques and methods in the next video.